Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how you can get Sakal working on your Daisy local PC server so you can do wonderful stuff like this and you know do all your testing of your mods and play single player Daisy um, spawn stuff in and generally do all that wonderful stuff that we like to do on our local servers now if you're watching this and thinking oh i wouldn't mind having a local server on my pc what i'll do is i'll have a link in the description below this video probably the first one on my video on how to install a local pc a local daisy server on your pc that enables you to have single player daisy um, and to test things and do all that sort of stuff so here we go now the important thing to remember is that in order to have a local server that you can play on, you must have bought the Sakal Frostline DLC. Although you can get all the files without owning it, if you want to actually play, you need to have bought that from the Steam shop. Um, and if you're coming this for the first time again, this does mean if you're coming from console, for example, you do need to own DayZ on PC as well. So you're going to have to uh, buy it again. Right, okay, so in the description below this video, Below the link to how to install a local server, you'll find the link to the Bohemia Interactive Official Daisy GitHub repository, which has been updated with the mission files for 1.26 and Sakal. And this is what we need to start off with. So you're going to hit code, you're going to download the zip, um, and then you're going to go to your download section. And what I recommend you do is copy that out and then I, I like to have a folder on my PC that I dedicate to Daisy modding where I keep a vanilla set of files. So I'll paste the zip file there, extract it, and then if we go into it, we can see we now have daisyoffline.sacal. So what we can do now is we can now copy that. And now you need to go to wherever your Daisy server is installed on your PC. For example, on my PC, it's under C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. And there we see we've got Daisy server. Now, as as we're going through this, just remember that I'm kind of I'm relying on the fact that you've already got a Daisy local server installed that you're running Chernus or Livonia on, or maybe some other custom map. So you kind of you know what I'm talking about. So we're going to Daisy server, we scroll down past all, all the mods, go into MP missions and just paste that. And there you'll have Daisy offline .sacal. Now remember these are all just vanilla files. Um, so they're, they're nice and simple but now what we need to do next is we need to make sure that server starts with the correct file so what you want to do is you want to take one of your server dz.configs and you want to open it up into your local text editor so if I take this one server dz.config which is the normal one I use along with the batch file to start the server and we edit this and then what we want to do straight away we just want to save it as and we call this daisy server sac hal test uh, dot c f g and we're going to put that inverted commas so it saves it as a config file like that um, and then if you go near the bottom now your config file might look a little bit different things might be in a different order but at some point there'll be the class mission section this section here and what we need to do is change the template here to sacal so if we go back to our Daisy server, and then we go into the server uh, MP missions, what we can do is we can just left click once and left click again on daisyoffline.sacal. And we can just copy that like so. Go back to our text editor and we can just put that in there like that. And then we can save that. And so that means when the Daisy uh, uh, so when the server dz.config fires up or this new one daisy secal test fires up it will know to start using that mission however we are still not um, finished because what we need to do now is we need to make sure that the batch file that starts knows to use this different uh, server dz.config so the way that i do it i have lots of different batch files that fire up the server with different mods um, and I guess probably the most useful one is the one that's got um, a Zombrary and Vanilla++ Plus Plus as a base. So I have my two favourite admin mods that you can use to spawn things in and check stuff. So what we want to do is we want to open this up with Notepad++. Plus Plus. I want to file, we want to save it first, so save as. So we're going to call this uh, start Zombrary Challenge++ Plus Plus Sakal 
test. I'm calling it test because I'm making a video. And then we're going to put dot .bat after the end. And then we're going to put it in inverted commas and we're going to save it like that. So that way Notepad++ knows it's a dot .batch. Now, somewhere on your batch file, you'll have the server config reference where it says server config equals server dz.config. So, the, so the batch file starts the server with the right server config. But we've changed it, haven't we? Because we've changed the map. So what we can then do is we can now go back to our server and just find that config. So it's that one, wasn't it? So we can left click it once, left click it again, right click, copy that, go back to here, change that to that, make sure we get all the spelling right. We can save that. Um, and that is now ready to go. That's how easy it is. However, there are a couple of catches that you need to make sure that you've done. A really uh, important one that people often forget is uh, you need to go to Games and Tools and make sure the DAISY server, there we go, there's the one, doesn't say update. Because if it doesn't say update, it won't have the new SACAL. It will probably say something like um, world missing, SACAL world, world missing. And if you get that error, you know you haven't updated the server. The other thing you have to do as well is um, if you're using other mods, you may well find they don't work. So make sure that you fire up the DAISY launcher at least once. And you may well have to go back into DAISY, uh, go into the workshop folder, and copy the mods that you use, and then copy them into your DAISY server folder, because lots of servers will need to be updated for 1.26. Now, personally speaking, I found that Zomberry and Vanilla++ Admin don't need updating. Um, you know, that's why um, you can see me kind of running around. So we've got, there's uh, Zomberry, and um, there's Vanilla++. Uh, plus plus. So you know, they all seem to be working right woo, underneath the map very, very nicely indeed. So there we go. That's how you get your local server running SoCal. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.